Melania Trump was on Fox News this morning for a softball interview, but what she wasn't expecting was to be confronted about why she hasn't been on the campaign trail with Donald Trump. And her answer has a lot of people talking. Wait until you see this one. Melania Trump has been conspicuously absent from the campaign trail. You can count on one hand the number of appearances she's made with Donald Trump in public. So obviously something is going on. But now, as the campaign draws to a close, she has been out on television promoting her new memoir. So it's all about the money. Recently, some ex-employees and friends of Melania have come forward with some bad stories about her. And of course, like her husband Donald, Melania claims it's all made up. In your book, you talk about people that really stabbed you in the back, right? Yeah. And let yeah. you down. Yes. And how, how did that feel to put that in print and finally get your voice uh, to this story? Well, it's important that people hear my story because it's a lot of misinformation and a lot of uh, uh, mistruths out there. So that's why I wrote the book. And, you know, I always I wish the best all these people uh, that they go on the back and uh, they they need to heal. Actually, they need to heal. I wish them all the best. Uh, they should be there for the right reasons mm -hmm. and not uh, why they that's were there That's big of you because a lot that's of people would be angry. Yeah, it's, a, it's betrayal. It's betrayal, but they show the world who they are. They need to go to sleep every night, mm -hmm. and they know what they did, you know, to, to tape uh, First Lady of the United States uh, on the phone calls mm -hmm. and release them to the public and edit those phone calls. It's, it's disgrace, and um, it should never happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you shouldn't say terrible things if you're worried about people recording them and releasing them to the public. And speaking of terrible things, Melania was asked about the rhetoric surrounding Donald Trump, including people calling him the next Hitler. What do you think about the rhetoric that's out there today? They're still calling your husband a second yes. Hitler. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Because you know him it's, better than anyone. It, correct. It's terrible. He's not Hitler, and all of his supporters, they're standing behind him because they want to see country successful. And um, we see how, what kind of support he has. Yeah. Right. When well, that settles the debate. Melania said Donald Trump is not Hitler. Thank you, Melania. Fox News also allowed people in the audience to ask questions, and one woman decided to ask Melania about why she came out with her pro-choice stance so close to the election that goes against Donald Trump's position. How did you present or drop your little pro-choice bombshell on the president in the middle of his career, fight for his career? How did you present it to him? And what was his response to you? Well, my husband knew my position, my belief, since the day we met. So it was not a big surprise for mm -hmm. him, right? I guess other people, the world didn't mm -hmm. know where my stands mm -hmm. are. But uh, he was not surprised at all. He knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That has to be so awkward for the MAGA world to know that Melania Trump is pro-choice like some liberal. Can you imagine if Doug Emhoff had a polar opposite position on a major issue like abortion while Kamala Harris is running for president? People will be freaking out and hyper-focusing on that. But in the MAGA world, nobody cares. But the strangest moment from the interview was when Melania Trump was asked why she has been absent from the campaign trail and just making appearances now. You know, Mrs. Trump, you made it very clear when, when your husband decided to run for president, you were gonna be a mother, you were gonna take care of Barron, and you were gonna work on the projects in the White House, but that mattered to you. But you took the stage on Sunday. You surprised the former president, you surprised the entire audience. <laughs> Why now are we seeing you more on the campaign trail in the final stretch? Well, it was an incredible um, place. I love New York City, and I think that uh, people to hear from me at that, on that day uh, the arena, Madison Square Garden, uh, the support that we have. And I want to support my husband as well. Mm -hmm. So I was there for him and everybody else. Are you... I 
What a strange answer from Melania Trump. When asked, why are you showing up on the campaign trail now? She just goes on a monologue about how much she loves New York City and it's important to be there. But it's so obvious that these two can't stand each other. I mean, just the exchange on stage between them seems like they are strangers. It's so disgusting to see people like Melania Trump coming out in the final days of the campaign just to sell a product to Donald Trump supporters. Can you imagine if Kamala Harris was promoting a product or a service, people would be outraged. And yet when the Trumps do it, nobody bats an eye. Well, hopefully this nightmare comes to an end in the next week or so and the entire country can move on.